the Outer Worlds gets a brand new patch. 1.5.1 goes live, or what we would know as 1.08. A lot of fun stuff ends up happening as they hammer out with the new DLC in the final installment. So my name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we'll be looking at what ends up happening with Obsidian and what they've changed in their game. Now, they do mention to open up the application if you're not getting this to boot in directly in there in order to get a cleaner install. For as far as what changes that they have included in this patch, the achievements is add to the Pearl of Gorgon and the Murder of Awesomeness as we start to see a little bit more specific fixes. Now, for as far as the general fixes that we'll see is various lighting issues, various typos and spelling errors, and it happens, they're human totally chill at least they're fixing this improved various lip sync animation which is very annoying i know a lot of people are not down with that it's like watching a bad film unfortunately unless that's what you're going for besides various text issues also come down to it fix some of the spots for players that could become permanently stuck which would suck improve the overall collisions and then design comes into play as you can see, the reduced spawn rate of some enemies in the wilderness for as far as the exploration reserves. Update some of the Rizzo security guards near the distillation station for as far as what they could get for the attack on the players if attacked first. Or fixed issues when NPCs on the VIP floor may not become hostile, which would be into your favor for the player. A little bit of an exploit, but not making it as fun if you wanted a challenge. The improved performance when attacking the specific enemy types with the melee weapons, and as we scroll down, we can see that updates for the wormed out flawed provided the players with a reduced 25 percent in effective for as far as the consumables this has now been fixed and addressed which is pretty cool fixed issues also go down to the companions would stop talking to the players after players investigated the profit of profitability on top of they include fixes to prevent the players from some hacking with sam while under the unreliable or as far as the update, the detection range on what happens with the amplifier and some of the pieces of the evidence. When moving past that situation, lootable items added the lock on other items than some locations. The mascot will now react appropriately to being threatened, and the lawyer will now act appropriately if the player aims their weapon at him. Quests fix come into play. As the final portion of what this patch comes down to, fixed issues for as far as escape when NPCs were not behaving appropriately, and the issues with the bird drug. Ella's tinsel would not allow the players to progress further. This article will be linked down below just in case you wanted to reach out to the technical support team with newer situations that arises. One of the core things that I get to cover is they listen pretty well and their patches are coming in between quality. So if you're new to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe to see what else comes for this lovely game. And leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what your experience is with this new DLC. Is it fun? Is it worth buying? Are you super happy? I'd love to hear what the community has to show. And for everyone else, I will say have a nice day, stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you in the near future. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would definitely suggest subscribing and slamming down that liberty bell with the notification to get all the future relevant gaming news as it comes live. Have a nice day, everyone.